Hey Brock Science, welcome to the 2023 election season. I'm Oscar and I'm Camilla. Let's start off with our first candidate for JSLT, Leah. Hey everyone, my name is Leah and I'm running to be your next JSLT. During my time at Bronx Science, I've immersed myself in the activities that are offered here, such as Mod UN, lacrosse, volleyball, and many clubs. Through this, I've been able to gain valuable experiences and meet new people. Because I come from a family of educators, I've learned a lot about how schools function, and I believe that I can bridge the gap between students and administration in order for everyone to thrive together. The first change that I would advocate for is the implementation of a faculty mindfulness and sleep management coordinator position. This would be someone that's designated to help assist students that deal with stress and anxiety on a regular basis. It's important that we start to talk more about mental health, seeing as many students here are clearly in need of someone who is trained to talk about stress, conflict, and emotional well-being. Also, wouldn't you love to finally see some full-length mirrors in the bathroom? We spend the majority of our day at Bronx Science, and it's important that we feel comfortable here. And if you'd like to see more food trucks outside, this can be achieved by reaching out to food trunk companies within the community and forming positive relationships with them. Finally, I'd like to focus on the potential renovation of Harris Field. Bronx Science is home to many competitive sport teams, and for PE classes as well, we deserve a high quality outdoor space. Because Harris Field is a public park, we can contact the DOE and Parks Department to make this change a reality. Thank you for listening, and remember, it's a good idea to vote for Leah. Thanks, Leah. Now let's move on to Oscar. Hey, Bronx Science. My name is Oscar Rempeheim, and I'm running to be your JSLT. I remember last year's elections. I remember first how boring they were, so thanks for giving me a bit of your time. I also remember the campaign promises. Yes, I remember hearing about these basic necessities like urinal dividers, better menstrual products, and better toilet paper, and I remember none of these things being implemented. I'm here to tell you today that I will do all of that and more. Everything I say on the screen will be put to action. Now, I could brag about my resume like the rest of these candidates, but I think it's more important I discuss what I can do for the future of the school, rather than what I've done in the past. So, I'd like to put together an alumni mentorship program. This would mirror the big sibs with roughly two or three mentors per home and giving us tips on colleges, APs, which teachers, which teachers are good, and stuff like that. Next, I'd like to have a cyberbullying seminar to discuss some of the anti-Semitic and Islamophobic comments made online. I think it's important we discuss, it's important that we resolve these issues to make sure they never happen again. I have a lot more ideas, so please check out Oscar for JSLT on Instagram, and remember, don't waste any time, vote for Oscar from behind. Thank you. Thanks, Oscar. Now for our last candidate, Julia. Hey Bronx Science, I'm Julia Shalira and I'm running to be your next JSLT. You may know me as Jumpstart with Julia or from various other associations, such as being on YMA, the Model UN team, different sports teams, and volunteering outside of school. But I want you all to know that I'm a Bronx Science student just like you all. I want people to look back fondly on their high school experiences. And although there will be some difficult moments, as your next JSLT, I want to make sure that the positive moments are going to be the most memorable for our high school experience. I want to relieve this massive stress that we have on ourselves. So I want to create SAT and ACT opportunities, more volunteering opportunities, and ways for students to see the research lab and the planetarium. Along with that, I'll value our mental health. So I want to create check-in forms and ways for students to see their guidance counselors more accessibly and more easily. Along with that, I want to create cultural and diversity boards so that we can educate others and shine a light on important topics and issues. I also love Bronx Science, so I want to make sure that we value our school spirit, and I want to add on to some of the school events that we already have at school, such as soccer tournaments, different powder puffs, and other performances and events. Now, lastly, I want to make sure that hygiene products are always restocked and that urinal dividers and school-length mirrors are going to be provided and advocated for. Now, this all may seem like a lot for someone to do in a two-year job. However, I have the passion, the spirit, and the determination to carry it out in the best way that I can. So remember, if I want the best JSLT, Julia Shalira is the one for me, because you can't spell JSLT without JS. Thank you, everyone. Now let's take a look at the candidates running for secretary, starting us off with Dylan. Hey Bronx Science, I'm Dylan Goldman and I'm running to be your next secretary. You may know me as the kid who did a parody of Blank Space, but let me tell you a little more about myself. I'm an engaged member of our community, being involved with different clubs and teams all over. I play for the varsity soccer team, run for the track teams, am a member of Malta UN, the SO Cabinet, and more. Now let me tell you why I want to be your next secretary. 
Having been on cabinet for a year, I've chaired many events including the Spring Carnival, 3v3 basketball tournament, and more. Throughout my time on cabinet, I've been able to work with other students in an effort to build a fun, engaging, and helpful environment for all. I know that with this position, I will be able to take this effort to another level, working more closely with our administration. I want all of you to feel comfortable, included, and heard in this school. All of you have amazing ideas, and I'm here to bring those ideas to life. Now what are my ideas? I want to stress that we feel that our school sets us up for the success we deserve. I want to implement college application workshops available to all grades, so students can start their senior year feeling prepared. I want to create websites dedicated to studying resources and to internship and volunteering opportunities. I also want to emphasize increasing our school spirit by having more spirit days, dances, and pep rallies. I will advocate getting Harris Field, our home field, renovated. Let's, I also want to have, I also want to focus on having a more, I also want to focus on establishing a less stressful environment. Let's have fun puzzles you can solve in the hallways, and let's have our teachers hold more open discussions, giving us students time, mental breaks, from all the constant work. Let's achieve this and so much more with me as your next secretary. Thank you for listening, and remember when polls open, stay chillin', vote Dylan. Thanks, Dylan. Now let's move on to Aliana. Hey Bronx Science, my name is Aliana Rodinera and I'm running to be your next secretary. I'm a current member of Vessel Cabinet and have chaired many events and initiatives such as Hispanic Heritage Month, Cupid's Bash, and the Puerto Rico Relief Drive. As your secretary, my goals are to promote inclusivity, increase mental health awareness, school spirit activities, and so much more. Just looking around Bronx Science, I see people from so many different cultures and backgrounds. As your secretary, I will work to ensure that every student feels represented and heard. I will collaborate with the school administration and student-led organizations to plan events that celebrate diversity. This includes the hosting of dance performances and cultural cooking events. I intend to place an emphasis on LGBTQ plus inclusivity by providing more Pride Days throughout the year because everyone deserves representation regardless of their sexual orientation or gender identity. I will also increase access to the Holocaust museums by organizing times where students can visit after school for those that don't have a lunch period. Secondly, I know that mental health is a critical aspect of our overall well-being. As secretary, I will advocate for increased supportive resources in Bronx Science. I will work with counselors and mental health professionals to organize workshops and events that promote mental health. We can also give students an opportunity to learn about environmental issues through the use of the greenhouse and the planetarium, because I know many Bronx Science students like myself haven't gotten the chance to see these amenities. As secretary, I will also organize a career day to bring in professionals from various industries to speak to students in every grade about different career paths, because like me, I know many students haven't been given much insight into what their options are in the future. As secretary, I also intend to increase school spirit activities, such as student versus faculty games, escape rooms, and homecoming dances. I hope you all liked these ideas and give me a chance to serve as your secretary. Have an amazing rest of your day, Bronx Science. And remember, rally for Ali. Thanks, Aliana. And finally, Fendi. Hey, Bronx Science. I'm Fendi Yu, and I'm so happy to be standing in front of you today as a secretary candidate. I have many ideas, and I believe that we can't have fun without fundamentals. I want to have fun at school, but I also believe that we should fix the issues that need fixing. For example, I had my first talk with my guidance counselor my freshman year, and I really benefited from that, which is why I believe that all people should be able to have that opportunity and speak with their guidance counselor. I want to have more open discussions in the school about current issues with their guidance counselor about, and um, have more stress relieving activities such as the Zen Den and other activities. I also want to beautify the school by maintaining the main bulletin board, which is such an amazing space that we don't utilize currently. I want to display student artwork, I want to display educational opportunities as well, such as volunteering and internship opportunities. I also want to make a collaborative collection center in the courtyard where students can keep their old equipment, such as soccer balls, badminton rackets, and also volleyballs that students can use and play with in the courtyard. Lastly, I also want to make sure that students know what to do to keep the school clean, which is why I want to put up posters all around the school spreading awareness about what you can do to help your community. I'm a candidate for the people, and I hope that the speech really showed that. A vote for me is a vote for you. Now let's hear from our vice president candidates, starting with Andrew. Hello, Bronx Science. My name is Andrew Friedland, and I wanted to be your next SO vice president. As a member of the, the varsity track team, nutritional health council, and an executive of a nonprofit organization, I not only have what it takes to be an excellent teammate, but also an incredible leader. Through my hard work and dedication, I've created an abundance of events to help improve the school. First, it is absolutely crucial to me that we have more time to socialize and make new friends here at Bronx Science while also working vigorously, which is why I've come up with an, 
with a few ideas, like the Bronze Science Olympics, and more competitions like cooking, dance, and music competitions so that we can celebrate our amazing athletes and incredibly talented individuals. Let's also have discos, dances, a second club fair, and a color war at the end of the year to send it off with a bang. Now, let's think back to the World Cup. It was so much fun being able to watch the World Cup with our friends in the cafeteria, which is why I propose that we have more games broadcast in the cafeteria, as well as movie nights and game nights. Now, it is essential that this environment becomes a lot more comfortable. This is why I propose that we have more frequent bathroom restocks, at least twice a day, with a greater focus on menstrual products in the gender neutral and women's restrooms. Let's also have urinal dividers and also have decorations in the school year round. Furthermore, let's create a database so that we can reach out to alumni directly so that we can broaden our college research as well as a club advisor spreadsheet so that we can find available club advisors and jumpstart our way to having a club. Let's also have a share your story program where upperclassmen can write about their experiences and things they've done over the summer so that we can find new ways to build our resume. Finally, as a member of the NHC this year, I've helped bring you the snack program. And as the chair of the NHC, I will help to expand the snack program and help keep the cafeteria clean. So if you want Bronx Science to be a lot more comfortable, cleaner, and especially a lot more fun, then remember, he's got a plan, vote Freeland. Thanks, Andrew. Next, let's hear from Aditya. Teachers, faculty, and students, today I speak not for the race between us candidates, but for the fact that the thing we fear the most is here. The end of this election season signifies change, something not many of us are comfortable with, but something that is inevitable. I, Aditya Fafalia, am running to be your next SO Vice President to make sure that the change that comes with our new leaders is change that comforts and supports us in our coming years. Many of you may have seen parts of my videos, platform, and photos up in school and on my social media, and I know many candidates make a large variety of promises with their platform, but my platform is short and focused on the things I believe can actually be brought to our school. And that starts with the cooking competition. We compete with each other all the time, but there are so many more opportunities and things to our life outside of our academic success. The opportunity for us to cook with our friends and share recipes that have been personal to us allows us to expand as, expand as a community. It allows teachers to see us as more than just students and for us to see each other in a different light. Plus, who doesn't love cooking? I also believe having a community of people supports our mental health and pushes us to strive for greatness. That's why I want to add halftime shows at our home games. I believe that we can support our amazing athletic department and really appreciate them. Student athletes have a really tough time in our school, especially in such a rigorous and competitive environment. The ability to uplift each other and push each other to the best allows us to compete with each other when we are all at our top level. Why would you want to compete with someone who isn't at their best? And finally, I really feel that we need to expand our community and that can happen with the Bronx Science Field Day. We can compete with each other in our grade and see who comes out on top. We compete with each other academically, but why not push it to something else? Why not compete with each other with sports and random knowledge? Let's see who really is the best of the best. But at the end of the day, I want to leave a positive imprint on every single one of you and make our competitive and rigorous school a place where we make our greatest bonds and cherish our favorite memories that can never be relived. I say Aditya's voice is your best choice to truly emphasize that I want to represent every single one of you and make all your voices heard and hope that when polls open, you vote Aditya Fafalia to be your next SO Vice President. Thanks, Aditya. Finally, Jaden. Hey, Rock Science. My name is Jaden Sinclair, and I'm running to be your next SO Vice President. As a current SO member, I've had the opportunity to bring tons of events to you all while working with current SO members. I've shared events such as Fresh and Fringle, Toys, Ghosts, and Candy Drive, Festivus, the Black History Month Gallery, and both the Black History Month and Women's History Month receptions. These opportunities have allowed me to gain the necessary experience needed to bring our community into a new school year, ready to implement much change and events that you would like to see. So, what do I want to do? As your VP, I want to increase diversity and inclusivity by having a cultural showcase, and I want to hear from you all about what you want to see and how to include more diversity in our curriculum. I also want to work with the president of the Alumni Foundation, Ms. Kufos, who I've currently worked with for the Alumni Foundations, to bring more alumni relationships back to the school and increase your networking as well. I also want to have an athletic bulletin board. I want to have a cultural showcase and I also want to have school dances like homecoming and winter and spring formals. I know how hard it can feel to be seen or heard in a community with almost 3,000 kids. But guys, with me as your VP, I will work tirelessly to amplify your voices to make sure you are both seen and heard. So guys, though for the last time, stop waiting and vote for Jaden. Now let's hear from the candidates running for president, starting us off with Ume. Hey Bronx Science, my name is Ume Anushka and I'm running to be your next SO president. 
I'm a current member of both the ESO Cabinet and Senate, the Varsity Model UN team, and I'm the president of the Public Health and Biostatistics Club. But above all of that, I'm a student here just like all of you guys. And because of that, I know exactly what all of us want and need to create a better Bronx science. My platform revolves around four key areas that I believe are vital to the student experience. Academics, athletics, amenities, and SO activities. To promote school spirit, I want to celebrate our Wolverines with an athletic bulletin board and a stunt team. Plus, I'll advocate for a basketball hoop and a volleyball net in the courtyard, as well as better merch options and designs. To improve your mental health, I want to implement more frequent send-ins with a tea, coffee, and snack station. But I also want to make your life more convenient, so I'll install more automatic water dispensers as well as properly restocked bathrooms. Now, it's no secret that our school is as academically rigorous as it gets. And to make it easier on all of you, I want to provide academic resources like a course selections rating website, a master spreadsheet with internships, scholarships, and volunteer opportunities, as well as college advice and career panels. Now, let's have some more fun. Being on the SO has given me the opportunity to chair some of the fan favorite events such as Monster Mash, Winter Wonderland, Spirit Week, and Friendsgiving. But I want to make these events even better. So let's add a gingerbread house decorating contest to Winter Wonderland and a fruit punch station to Monster Mash. Why not add some new events as well? Let's advocate for a Bronx Science Olympics, an outdoor movie night, a game night, bake off, and much more. I want to take a moment to thank my opponent Hayden for making this an amazing race and to all of you guys for the love and support you've shown me in my campaign thus far. Bronx Science, it's finally time that school becomes a place where you can make the most of your academic life and have fun doing it. So if you want to see a change be made, be a part of that change today. Don't fall short, vote for Ume for SO President. Thank you. Thanks Ume. Now let's hear from Hayden. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm here to give you all the reason to be excited about being stuck in homeroom for 40 minutes. My name is Hayden Klinger and I want to be your next SO president. But why am I qualified for this position? I'm your current SO secretary. This means that I've already spent this entire year helping lead the student organization. I've been on the SO cabinet for the last two years, the Senate for the last three, and I'm a member of the varsity baseball team. This year, I've turned some of your favorite events including The Haunted House, The Fresh and Fringle, Carnations, and I even brought in a Holocaust survivor to speak to the school. Have you ever been using a urinal and all of a sudden some random person goes next to you? Well, you're not going to have to worry about that anymore, because I'm going to work with administration to install urinal dividers. I'm also going to work with the custodial staff to create a better round schedule to ensure that bathrooms are more efficiently stocked, including menstrual products. 10th and 11th graders have no events just for them. This is why I plan to expand the Fresh and Fringle for these grades. Let's have a sophomore social, a junior jubilee. After all, who doesn't love free ice cream and raffles? I'm going to work to get us basketball hoops in the courtyard, because let's be honest, how awesome would that be? Let's start prioritizing mental health. We'll have a near permanent Zen Den, Spirit Weeks dedicated to mental health, and regular mental health town halls. Unfortunately, there are many students at Bronx Science who do not have a lunch period. I'm going to work with teachers to allow these students to go down to the cafeteria and get a quick lunch during class. Lastly, choosing your courses can be incredibly stressful. This is why I'm going to create a course selection committee full of upperclassmen so that everyone can choose the courses that are best for them. I would like to congratulate my opponent, Ume. You did a fantastic job. Thank you all so much for listening and don't be hating, vote for Hayden. Thank you. Finally, we're moving on to our senior council president candidates. Starting with Esther. Class of 2024, I'm Esther, and I will give you the best senior semesters. As a third year senator, president of Bioethics Club, and member of the Jewish Student Union, I've learned to do my very best for the people I care about. After consulting upperclassmen, I've developed a four part platform. First, let's commemorate past semesters with a senior mural, a teacher twin day, or a memorabilia day. Second, I promise the best fall semester, with movie and game nights, a locker decorating competition, or a search and solve, for a prize of course. I know you want a better cafeteria, so I'll stock it with air fresheners, music, and games. Third, I promise the best spring semester, with a field day, a senior picnic, and for all my fellow music fanatics, a curated prom playlist. Finally, are you stressed about college? I'll work with the college office to create a bulletin of internships and shadowing opportunities, or a catalog of alumni contacts 
so that your questions about specific schools are just an email away. I hope I've proven to you that I'm full of good ideas. But if nothing else stands out, this race comes down to who can most effectively get the job done. I always listen and communicate, and with my passion and experience, I'll be that person for you. Junior year has been so strenuous with the constant tests and lack of sleep, but let's make senior year our own. Class of 2024, the choice is yours. If you want the best semesters, vote for Esther. Thanks, Esther. Next up, Karen. Hey, juniors, don't you want a memorable senior year? I know I do. As senior council president, I want to prioritize providing all of you an outlet to release all the stress that you'll be facing next year. Look, I understand the stress of balancing out AP classes, extracurriculars, plus trying to polish yourself to be the best match for colleges. I want to create a tight-knit community and create as much bonding experience possible so that when we look back and reminisce in our senior year, everyone will have a huge smile across their faces. One thing that brings me joy is being active. I've been doing gymnastics ever since I was three and I've joined the school's gymnastics team and even the track team. I want all of you to feel the same joy that I feel doing the things I love through the events and ideas that I have planned for you. I'm confident that I can incorporate new events that the school hasn't hosted yet, and I'm deeply committed to creating a positive impact on the mental health of each and every one of you. I'm committed to working with the senior council, SO cabinet, and the school faculty to create as much memorable experience as possible so that we can commit and connect and unify as a class of 2024. Of course, I'll always be here to listen to all your suggestions on what activities and events that you want to do, and I will try my best to make them all a possible choice. And I will also be here to listen to any feedback so we can make senior year the best year yet. So when you vote for me, that means you're one step closer to a more eventful, colorful senior year, and I will do my best to provide all of you in enough support for the college application process, balancing out schoolwork, and fun. So before you vote, just remember, you'll never be blue, vote Karen Koo. Thanks for tuning in, Brock Science. Best of luck to all the candidates. And if you're watching in homeroom right now, don't forget to cast your ballot.